cracked them up tonight. <laughs> so my adoring public wants an autograph. Well, it'll cost you. <laughs> lecture on cold fusion to be so interesting, Mr. Roberts. May I clean those test tubes for you? Uh, thank you, Sam. Uh, it's wonderful to see a student so interested in chemistry. <laughs> oh, hi, Sam. I guess you were serious when you said you'd hit up Mr. R for extra credit. Is it working? <laughs> oh, what a total coincidence. That's my favorite movie, too. I love the part when... Clover! Is this the guy you said you were majorly crushing on? Oh, he's just as cute as you said he was. Oh. You know, she really, really likes you. Okay, I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. <laughs> Way to totally blow it, Alex. You are the absolute worst at keeping a secret. What are you guys talking about? I'm an expert at keeping secrets. Hello? Remember that time we had to cancel a party because you told the neighbors about it? Or the time you told my English teacher I downloaded my essay from the internet? None of those were my fault. I can totally keep things to myself. I didn't tell Sam that you lost her favorite CD, did I? Oops. Wait, you lost my CD? <laughs> I didn't really lose it. I just kind of lent it to this guy and... <laughs> oh, where did they come from? Oh, look at the little bit of babies. Welcome, Super Spies. How did you like the babies from the Whoop Daycare? They were cute, but not so cuddly. Hey, new tie chair? I love it. You always know exactly what to wear. Well, I once was runner-up in the most dapper man in Manchester contest. But Sam, didn't you say that Jerry's taste in clothes was hideous? Hmm. Uh, so, Jer, what's up? Oh, uh, yes. Well, people in the entertainment district are being attacked by a mysterious entity. Strangely, the attacks have only been on performers like singers, comedians, and magicians. Whoa, tough crowd. I want you girls to go there and investigate. Gladys will supply you with some gadgets to help you on your mission. I'm giving you press on fingernail darts, low gravity go go boots, net throwing mascara, and the lipstick microphone camera. And a new item, red heat throat lozenges. How do they work? Well, I'm glad you asked. Time for a little demonstration. Off to the dojo! The red heat throat lozenge. As soon as the lozenge comes into contact with your salivary glands, it releases... <gasps> oh dear, not now. Uh... It releases... Uh, thanks for the demo, Jer. I think we get the idea. The red heat lozenges are good for melting objects. And for clearing one's sinuses. Okay, Alex. We've got some really juicy gossip, but you can't tell anyone. Don't worry. It's safe with me. Just tell me. Tell me! Okay. Really? Gladys? I don't believe it! Shh. Remember, you can't tell anyone. You have to keep it a secret to regain our trust. Don't worry, it's in the vault. <laughs> Most of the performers are being attacked in this area. The latest incident occurred at this club to a magician named the Amazing Molotov. <laughs> Excuse me, are you the Amazing Molotov? <laughs> um, what's with the outfit? You want a crowd laughing with you, not at you. She's lost her voice. So you petted a goat that bit you? You fed a giant bag of candy to a baby? No, no, I got it. You opened a box and a cat jumped at your face. I've got it. We'll just get her to write down what happened. What does it say? I'm not sure. Her handwriting isn't that good. Besides, it's in Russian. Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. Hmm? It's Jerry. 
Girls, there's been reports of a suspicious figure prowling around the concert hall down the street. Chair, what do you know about glasses? <laughs> you know, glasses? Like sunglasses. Uh, never mind. <laughs> View to find our suspect. These will look great in my locker. Uh, we're supposed to be looking for a suspect, not starting a fan club. <gasps> Wait! I think I see him! Clover! Cut this morning and start zooming! He's either our guy or just some geek waiting to get his accordion sign. <laughs> for analysis. Oh, don't worry. You guys look great. In fact, it'll probably start a new trend at school. Everyone's going to be doing it in no time. Well, girls, I've got something that will help you. Oh, my goodness. What happened to you? <clears throat> um, whatever happened, it's uh, oh, great. What a unique um, look. Such stylish uniforms. A trend just waiting to happen. <laughs> well, sorry, Sam, I'm all out of crackers. But here, try these devices. They'll help you communicate. Just type into it, and it'll translate your text into words. Testing. One, two, three. Alex says she hates the way the computer voice sounds. She'd rather use puppets to get her points across. Whoa. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> Rather low tech, but I suppose that could work too. At least now she'll have a hard time telling people secrets. I analyze the white paint you sent in. It contains traces of DNA from a mime who goes by the name of Jazz Hands. So this Jazz Hands must be the one behind the attacks. But why is he stealing people's voices? Let's find him and ask him. <laughs> Jazz Hand's last known address is around here. I think we should use our hologram projection mood rings to help us fit in. Well, at least we aren't clowns. Big for yourself. Oh, but it works for you, Sammy. Yeah, like, whatever. Feeling that Jazz Hands has been here recently. Where's Alex? Okay, the socks were bad enough. This is ridiculous. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> What's with 
the Super Week costumes. See, Stuart, I told you they were clueless losers. What are you two doing together? Oh, I owe it all to Alex. If she didn't blab about your secret crush, I never would have stolen him away from you. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it, Alex! You're like totally freaking us out! We mean you no harm. I always thought you guys were like freaks, but this takes the cake! Sorry, Clover. I could never hang out with somebody with such weird friends. Thanks, Alex. No, you can't have gravel-flavored ice cream. We're here to find Jazz Hands' home. Guys, over here. That's gotta be the place. That must be Jazz Hands. He's showing footage of himself performing. What an ego. He's not very good. No wonder. An accordion playing mime? Like, get a clue. And it looks like he's got raging jealousy issues with other performers. What? What's going on? You know a ballerina that has salt in her eyes? You've always dreamed of being a window washer. You, you want to buy a lamp at a flea market? Uh, <gasps> jazz hands! Too bad you couldn't just mime your own business. Hey! I thought mimes weren't supposed to talk. Oh, that's just a misconception, perpetuated by the mime-hating media. In fact, we are all allowed to talk off stage. Why would I have a telephone if I didn't talk? That would be ridiculous, as well as a total waste of money. Can we get on with this? You can't talk to me like that! I am the world's greatest mime! <laughs> a diploma from the International Mime Academy. You may not understand the intricate craft of mime, but you will respect me. This mime means business. <laughs> huh? <laughs> No one shall defeat the power of the mime! Yeah! Okay, this is totally not cool! Being a mime isn't about being cool! It's about the outer body movement, subtle gestures, non-verbal communication. Something you'll come to understand. That was just the opening act. It's time for the star of the show. The ultimate mime weapon. The invisible box. Okay, anyone else feeling a little claustrophobic? Ah, there's no point in struggling. You can't get out. Ingenious in its simplicity, the invisible box is harder than it looks. Why are you doing this? I've been shunned by the arts community because they don't understand my genius. So I'm going to turn the entire world into a silent one. <laughs> then everyone will realize how difficult mimehood is. Not just anyone can be a mime. It's a craft. A craft, I tell you. <laughs> I'm not sure how it was possible, but now I hate mimes even more. I'm suffocating. We've got to get out of here before we run out of air. I think I know a way out. Help me rock this box back and forth. Now we've got to stop jazz hands or everyone in the world will be wearing those same hideous outfits. Sorry. If I were a mime, where would I go? Ew, like I'd ever be a mime.
You all laughed at me! Well, now I'm laughing at you! Hear this! <laughs> Time for our jetpack backpacks! Come on, Sam! Get that white face loser! Oh, sorry about that. Ah, the critics of mime would never starve. Like they always say, a true artist is never understood during his time. Just like your career, Jazz Hands, you're going dead. <laughs> so you think, but you'll find that we mimes are full of surprises. We're silent, but violent. <laughs> Did he just say silent but violent? Apprentice mimes, eliminate them! Hey, check it out! I'm miming! Hey. I deserve that. <laughs> It's time for the fingernail darts. Gladys, we need someone to pick up some bad guys. I'm sending over some coordinates. I won't let you talkies ruin my plan. The show's over, Jazz Hands. Ah, mimes out quitters. We never stop bringing joy and pleasure to audiences everywhere. <laughs> the matter, girls? Not enjoying my performance? How typical. Unfortunately, you won't be around for the encore. My sense tingling! Help! Sam! Don't you just give up and let minds rule the world! Do I really need to answer that? We can't keep this up! We're going to need a plan. Your words hurt me. <gasps> what are you doing? Unhand me! <laughs> Here's my review of your latest performance. There isn't a cell strong enough to hold me. Mimes are resilient. There's no way you'll stop me. Alex, could we get some quiet time? <laughs> Great job, Spies. Jazz Hands will have a long time to perfect his craft in our Whoop Detention Center. Oh, thanks, Gladys. It's good to have my voice back. Luckily, we were able to reverse the effects on everyone Jazz Hands attacked by careful manipulation of his accordion. Gladys, I have to know. Did you ask out Jerry's photocopier yet? What are you talking about? Everyone knows that you have a crush on Jerry's photocopier and you don't want Jerry to know. I think it's really cute. Alex, that was a secret. That's it. You leave us no choice. 
I didn't mean it. It just slipped out. Just give me one more chance. My photocopier? Oh, please. There's no time for inter-office romances. <laughs> 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 